Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Word Origins 225. The word origin today is paparazzi. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. All right, let's get right to it. The singular form of paparazzi is paparazzo. You don't hear it as much because very often paparazzi are all together in a group, but sometimes they do separate and just follow someone individually. So you can use the singular form as well. Let's continue. Paparazzi are uh, photographers that are famous for following celebrities in order to take their pictures and sell them to newspapers and magazines. Okay. The origin of the word comes directly from Italian. Uh, that's why you have a, um, that's why it has the O ending for the singular and the I for the plural, because masculine nouns in Italian often do that. They end in O and then the plural will end in an I. All right, let's continue. It was originally the name of a character who took photos of celebrities named Signor Paparazzo. So that was the character's name in this movie. Uh, in a Federico Fellini film called La Dolce Vita. Uh, in Italian, that means the sweet life. Yeah, La is the noun for... Uh, feminine nouns, and dolce is sweet, so the noun sweet is feminine in Italian, uh, and vita, of course, is life. Let's continue. 1960, uh, Fellini was not fond of these type of photographers, and the term uh, was commonly used for a person who was a pushy, annoying person with a camera. This term derived from an Italian dialect. You know, a dialect, like, it, it's a variation of the language, especially only spoken in a certain area, like up in the countryside. A lot of European languages may have some dialects, you know, just in certain areas, too, where people use some other words that, you know, average people who speak the language don't. Let's continue. Uh, all right, so in a dialect, Italian dialect, in which the word meant a buzzing insect. Thus, paparazzo was compared to an annoying insect, such as a mosquito. So like a mosquito annoys you, if you're a celebrity, the paparazzo or the paparazzi annoy you. All right, let's continue. And we got uh, three examples to show just how we use this. Uh, Paris Hilton was a socialite. Yeah, socialite, usually they're the children of very rich and famous people that really haven't made it much on their own. Uh, and they're often invited to a lot of these parties where a lot of celebrities go to, you know, because her parents own the, you know, Hilton Hotels. So Paris Hilton was a socialite who became famous by playing up to the paparazzi and making a lot of sexy poses for them. So where most of the movie stars actually kind of ran away from the paparazzi, were trying to hide from them, she did the total opposite. She stood there and smiled and bent over and did all kinds of poses for them. They loved her, uh, but they helped to, you know, start a career off for her because, you know, who knows, maybe she would have never made it without them. Uh, let's continue. Number two here, that actor got angry at a paparazzo and punched him and broke his camera. Yeah, I've seen this happen a number of times throughout the years where, you know, maybe some paparazzi went too far and, you know, one actor just couldn't help his frustration, actually punched him or hit him. Uh, a lot of times in that case, the paparazzo might be able to sue the actor, too, because, you know, they do have the right to take them if they're in public. So... But it has happened before. Uh, number three here. Uh, the paparazzi will be out tonight to catch photos of celebrities as they leave their limos, that's short for limousines, you know, the long stretch cars, uh, and get on the red carpet and head into the event. You know, something like the Academy Awards or some big event like that. So, of course, paparazzi, there'll be crowds of paparazzi out taking photos at as many celebrities as they can get. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.